Hey everyone, um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I take off the quick attach loader. Um, I know when I first got this tractor and uh, I was doing some research, it was, it was difficult to find um, some information on how to take the bucket and the loader off properly, on and off properly. So I'm going to give you guys what I do and my tricks to kind of help it because there is a few pro tips that really help it out if you can because it makes it a lot easier and little pieces of information that I wish I would have knew when I was doing it for the first time so I'll take you guys along. So step one here is to line up the tractor so the two hooks are just under so those two hooks right there one on each side is just under that little pipe as you can see here. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to um, I'm going to have to basically shut this off and uh, make sure there's no hydraulics in the uh, handle. There's no hydraulic pressure and I'm going to put those hydraulics onto the tractor. Then after that I'll restart up the tractor and drop that down. So that's what I'll have to do and uh, I'll take you guys through. So to take any pressure out of the hydraulic handle what I do is I just push it back and forth three or four times. Um, on each way both uh, vertical and horizontal and that should take any pressure out of those lines right there and then I do I have colors on each one of the hydraulic lines you match the colors to um, to each designated port and then that way you know that you're not messing up the lines so I use these gloves right here I found that they are the best so far um, they got that harder plastic on them and they're usually big but um, it just keeps the hydraulic oil from getting all over your hands doesn't matter how efficient you are at doing this you are gonna get hydraulic on you it doesn't it just it's the way it is so um, just a quick note for you guys these two electronic lines are what run to your joystick and allow you to go uh, front and back um, forward up and down and uh, tilt the bucket and then they all kind of line up with each one of these lines so that's what allows it to do it if you were to have a fully hydraulic system it wouldn't be electric lines it would be so that it would have hydraulic lines that would go inside there but this one has electric assist so that's what we're working on and I'll just line it up and I'll bring you guys back after I put the hoses on so I just got these on here um, what I like to do is make sure that I put it in order of this one, which is first line, and then this one second, because what will happen is, is they put this little switch on it and it's hard to maneuver this one around or the one with the switch on it around. So you have to make sure that one's kind of in so that you can maneuver this skinnier one in. So that's what I do. I make sure I kind of do it in that order. So one, two, three, four, and then it makes it a whole lot easier. Cause this one, if you have to try and um, wiggle that one in it's a bit of a pain in the butt so I make sure that that one is in and then I can put these little ones that are smaller and narrower more maneuverable in uh, a little bit after so that's what we're at here I've got these on um, what I'm going to do is I am going to wait until I have that drop down so the hooks drop down and then once the the hooks are dropped down on that shaft I will put the pins in so there's a pin that goes in here and it lines up inside here to as a safety pin and I put that in once the thing is dropped down so that's what we'll do um, another thing is, is I didn't really know is you have to have these feet down or it will not lift up when you're putting it on so so I just got them on here as you can see it's dropped in both one of these and I lift it up and what that forces is it forces this part to slide forward and then now I can put those pins in and uh, make sure I can take the legs up and we should be all good. So I just slid the pins in here. Uh, it's going to be a little loud because I have the tractor on. Um, this one goes through first and then you slide this through a hole that goes through and then I just hammer this in. A good pro tip there is to kind of put a little uh, metal grease, I don't know what it's called, the aluminum grease inside there so it doesn't rust. And inside here, this nut likes to rust in there too. 
And what happens is, is you, after a winter, it ends up being really difficult to get that nut off. Um, same thing on the other side. Make sure those nuts are tight so that it creates a safety. This little hook goes into a little area here, and this nut is what keeps your load from sliding. Um, and then this pin also works there too. And that's it, guys. Um, I'll just show you. There's a little mount on the front there. Here, we'll see if I can just straighten this up. That lever is what allows you the pin to slide out. So when you're switching implements, it allows it to slide out. So that's what you have to do when you want to take this bucket off. The reason I'm doing this today is because I'm going to be putting a little bale in for the cattle, make sure they're happy, and also I have to load hay for someone that bought some hay from me. So I hope this was helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just, uh, I know when I first got this loader, there was, uh, there was tips from QuickTatch, but it didn't really go into enough detail on what you really needed, the ins and outs of how to really do it with any type of efficiency. Because this loader was never off when I bought it. And I bought this tractor roughly 3,400 hours. So when I did, when I took it off for the first time, it was dang near impossible to get that nut off. Also, those pins were just almost soldered in there. So that's why I'm saying make sure you lubricate those two. That way it makes it a lot easier. Because I find I took my loader off when I do hay because I have hills. And if I keep that on in the hills, it will bounce and bounce and bounce and make the tractor bounce and bounce and bounce. That's why I take it off. It's a lot less um, intense, um, a lot less stress on the front end of the tractor. And it's a lot less bouncing on the baler when you're going through and when you're mowing because I have heavier equipment. So that's why I do it guys. Take care, keep farming, keep having fun.